Is it recording? Hello. I just got finished with the annual sales conference at Thomas Skinner and you know, this is something that Thomas Skinner puts on every year. <laughs> I guess it's in the title, Annual Sales Conference. We bring together all of our sales staff from across Western Canada to reflect on the year that's passed, see how we measured up, and share what's working, what's not working, and maybe hear something from one of our coworkers possibly missing in our performance. Now, of course, we have meetings, you know, a couple times a month to go over these things, but it's really different when you're all in person. Absolutely loved it. I think management at Thomas Skinner this year, they changed up who was doing the leading for the different days of the sales conference and the format that we had really left me feeling more connected to the sales team, which is gonna translate to better support coming to Western Canadian manufacturers. I'm excited, I geek out on this stuff. You know, we did team building exercises. Some people are gonna roll their eyes, that's okay. <laughs> Speaking of team building exercises, one of the ones we did is we went down bowling here in Richmond, BC. I will tell you, my performance, spectacular. <laughs> I'm gonna prove it. You wanna see the trophy? <laughs> You'll notice that this, uh, this, this little poop emoji says most honest player. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. That's code for worst player. Surprising, right? <laughs> Hopefully that's not an indication to my performance this year for 2024. I've been chasing $2 million in sales for Thomas Skinner for quite a few years, always getting so close, so close, never getting there. 2022, boom, smashed into the $2 million club. Now, it's not about the volume sold. I mean, if I don't sell, I, I don't eat. That's the way commission works. To me, the, the sales I do get, it's a reflection of the value that I bring, the solutions that I bring, the ways that I help customers find what works to reduce their costs and improve their manufacturing. So, 2023, I was like, you know what? I really want to step it up a notch. I want to get, you know, two and a half, two and three quarter mil. And so I went just full out until the end of the year. Some of you might've seen my post about this. However, I was still blown away. I got this beautiful trophy. And one year I barely make it into the $2 million club. And the next year I get into the $3 million club. For me, this is a huge measure of the value that I bring to market and what I get to do to support all of you. It means I'm getting better at finding the right solutions and I am getting better at communicating the possibilities that are out there when you decide to work with the right solutions rather than just going for the lowest price on your PO. The cost makes a difference. It's amazing what happens when you invest in the right options and take out your frustrations. So have you guys reflected on your 2023? Uh, did you look at your performance? What worked? What didn't work? What might have been missing? I know, like myself, you are committed to supporting those people around you and reflection's a huge part of that. Anyway, I can't wait for 2024. It's already underway. It's the 24th of January today and it's looking to be an amazing year out there. Till next time, keep your spindles turning and earning.